Good evening, students. Now, in this video, I will take you through the steps in how you construct a square equal in area to a triangle. All right, a square equal in area to a triangle. So we will start first by constructing the triangle and then we'll convert that triangle to a square. Or in other words, we will obtain a square that is equal in area to that triangle. All right, now before I take you to the steps, I just want to remind you of a few things. Now, you can remember this construction that we did here, where we changed or we constructed a triangle equal in area to a rectangle, right? I'm sure you can remember this, all right? Where this here is the rectangle. All right, I'm sure we can remember that. And then most recently, we went through this construction where we obtain a square from a rectangle, right? Um, Looks something like this, All right? I'm sure we can remember this. Good. So, why I am telling you this is because these two, they are closely related to what we have to do here today, or what we have to do here now, all right? Because we want to get this square here from this triangle. So we start in with this triangle and we end up with this square. So, If we have this triangle and we construct it, we, sorry, we construct a rectangle equal in area to this triangle, the two of them, they're equal in area. And then we use this rectangle and we change it to a square. Do you think that square would be equal to the triangle? Think about it. All right, so that is basically what we will be doing today, or, or now rather. We'll use this triangle to obtain a square. So yes, this one is a combination of constructions that we did before. This one here and this one here. So we'll be starting with the triangle then we change the, the triangle to a rectangle, and then we change that rectangle to a square. So we would have all three of them being equal. All right, so that is our objective, right? To have all of them equal. But so step one, construct the triangle, right? That is step one. So of course we know we have to uh, get our ruler. We draw the triangle to the Venn measurement, which is 80. All right, and of course, again, we know that we need to use the pair of compasses in order to get the triangle accurately. We use 80 mm, describe the X on top. Then we go from this end. Um, I forgot the label, so I'll do that just now. All right, so we get our um, triangle, not, not accurate. Again, not accurate. Yes, so Yes, that's what that's what we actually um, doing. So just let me move this a little bit. Good. So we have our triangle, right? And let me just label that A B C D. Okay. 
ABC rather. Good. So we change this rectangle now into, sorry, this triangle into a rectangle. And in doing that, we need to use the set square and we mark off or we insert our altitude. Right, because remember, we need to get the vertical height of the triangle because the rectangle is half the vertical height of the triangle. So we draw in this line and then, of course, we bisect it. All right, let's just leave this point as O. Good, so we bisect OC. And again, everybody should remember how to bisect a straight line. All right, we bisect OC. And then we go from C and we do the same. Good. And we draw our line straight through. Let me just get the ruler so we can get the... Yes, so we simply draw in these lines. So that will give us the height or the top of the rectangle. So in order to get the two sides, we use our set square again, align it with the base and simply draw in this side 90 degrees. All right, we draw in that side 90 degrees and we do the same from this side. All right, 90 degrees, and we draw the line straight up. Good. So here we have the rectangle that we're looking for so far. All right, then we'll use that rectangle in order to obtain the square. All right, let me just do some adjustments here so that you can see clearly what I'm doing. Good. So what I need to do now, remember, we extend AB outwards to the right. Then we take our pair of compasses, we go from B, open to, I did not put a, a label there, let me just do that, um, B, and over this side is E. Good, so what I do, I would open the pair of compasses from B to D, and I'll draw an arc down to the line that we extend, right? We can remember that from the previous video. So we label that part F. Good, so now we bisect the F, right? The distance from A, F, we bisect that distance. So scribe an arc on top. And yes, it might get a bit confusing because of the amount of arcs. All right? But just try to pay attention. So we finish at A, now we go to F. All right, and we draw another arc here and one at the bottom. So that would give us our intersection. So we draw our lines through the, in our line rather, through the intersections. Good, and that will give us another center here. So we'll use that center All right, we'll use this center to draw our semicircle. So we open from there to E. All 
All right, and we draw a semicircle. And that should come back to F. Good. So from B, remember, we draw, we extend the BD line up to the semicircle. All right, we extend this line up to the semicircle. So I'll just go ahead and draw a very thick line because that is the length of one side of the square. All right, that is the length of one side of the square. So which I, I would just draw it, um, all right? Yes, so I just use that um, thick line because it is a part of the shape that we are actually looking for. So see that we found that, that length, which is, B. I need to put a letter here, B H B G. right? In that we found that distance from B to G, I'll just use that distance and mark off at the bottom here. Then I'll go from G, mark off on the right side. Then I'll go, let me just label this part, H. Right, I'll go to H. And mark on up, intersect. So that will give me now I. All right, so that will give me I. So from B to H, from H to I, and from I to G, that is the length, sorry, that is the square that we are looking for. All right, that is the square that we are looking for. Yes, sorry about that. I lost some connection there. Um, yes, so this is basically the square that we are looking for. The square itself is equal to this triangle, sorry, this rectangle. And the rectangle, as you know, is equal to the triangle. So this makes the square also equal to the triangle. All right, so that's it. Um, yes, we can have variations for this construction. We can have different types of triangle because as it is, this triangle here is uh, an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal. So for any triangle, whether isosceles, scalene, right? Right angle triangle, the steps will remain the same, just like this. All right, so whatever, um, triangle comes your way, you just follow these same steps and you will get your square and you will get the construction um, accurate. All right, so I trust that this video would have helped you and 
that you know you can now complete all your um, tasks. All right, so I'll see you again in another video. Goodbye.